Reuters. They are crammed into their cells in Jericho. Palestinian prisoners cook, pray, and wait in concrete cages so small they can barely stand. Some of the crumbling, overcrowded prisons of the occupied West Bank date back to the Ottoman era. Many were destroyed by Israel during the Palestinian uprising of 2000. Their sorry state, Western advisers say, is lost in the bigger picture talk of roadmaps and statehood. The key underpinning of any democratic state is a free, independent judiciary and penal system with a police force that's responsible to a civilian ministry and accountable to that criminal justice system. The security crackdown launched late last year by Prime Minister Salam Fayyad has produced scores more prisoners, but there's nowhere to put them. It all amounts to a revolving door policy, long cited by Israel as a bar to a deal on statehood. The Attorney General says his options are limited by reality. We in the Attorney General's office try as much as possible to release them since there is no room for them in the prisons. But there are some very difficult cases like murder, betrayal, collaboration and rape, cases which bother the public. We cannot go easy on them. This problem embarrasses us in a big way. With no cells to spare, police can't execute thousands of outstanding warrants, let alone process the newly arrested. This man expects to be freed after serving only two-thirds of his sentence for murder. Overcrowded prisons and backlogged courts. Some detainees are waiting years for sentencing. And there's no solution in sight. None of the billions pledged by major states to help build the Palestinian Authority has been earmarked for new prisons. Susan Flory, Reuters.